So a mother asked me for help. We usually try to give 200 ringgit to Lao's family for, for, for one month, yeah? It's 50 ringgit a week. And so I gave her 200 ringgit and she was so happy because she had all these children hungry. And then she sent me a picture of her daughter eating a bowl of porridge, bubo. And I said, wait a second, I just gave you 200 ringgit. Why is she only eating porridge with no meat, with no vegetables? And she said, oh, but, but she can survive on, she on the bubo because I have to pay the rent. I have never, yes, had poor people not pay rent, not so many, and not so many single mothers, not so many being kicked out of their homes, not so many being driven out of their homes, not so many losing their jobs. I am having by the hundreds um, in Klantan, in Tranganu, in Sabah. Today, this morning, this guy was telling me, yes, he lost his job working as a delivery person in a food place. Another lady was 28 years old. She got laid off uh, working in a factory. And she says, I don't worry about me, but I can see my parents, my older parents, despairing because I have 86 ringgit in my bank and I don't know where I'm going to buy the next meal. It's not enough to last me food for two weeks. And you hear these stories over and over again, right? And you just think to yourself, like, what can you do? And, you know, and, and it's fine to say we do what we can. But for me, that's really lofty and that's really condescending in many ways because we can't do just what we can. We need to do more. And we need to do more and we need to sort of share our resources and our love and our compassion with a lot more people than we want to because we have to because if we don't children are dying children are hungry the elderly are sick and they're dying and you know and we don't see this because we have a house we don't need to worry about rent we don't need to worry about food but there are so many out there who don't